Hello everyone, welcome to my other video. So today I'll be showing you how to use Cypress to test your React application. So let's get started. So right now I will create one React application so that I can use that application uh, for testing using Cypress. So for installing or for creating the React application, I will write npx create react app and the app name is Cypress React and then it will take some time and I will enter into this project directory that is Cypress React and then I have to install this Cypress as dev dependency so for that I am writing npm install Cypress double dash dev and then uh, I will need this Cypress in my registry so for that I am writing npx Cypress install so finally, I'm writing code space dot to open VS Code. Now inside VS Code, if you go to this app.js file, this uh, app component is uh, created by default by create react app. So I'm just deleting the whole thing, whatever is there inside this div element. So here I will simply create one input element. Uh, the type will be simple text and whatever I will write inside this text I will simply update the state so on change I will need one handler so my handler method is on name change and here I'm creating the handler method and I will get the event from here and from this unlimiter I will simply update the state so for that I have to first create the state so I'm just uh, giving the state name as name and uh, I'm using use state and setting the default state as empty string and finally on name change I will update the state with e dot target dot value okay so whenever there are some keystroke it will update the state of name and then I will uh, need one button uh, so I'm naming the button as uh, show and on clicking on this button I will call one handler method that is handle click and in this handle click method I will simply toggle the state so I will create the state later also I will define this handle click method later so let me first uh, show you uh, what I will render I will simply render name inside this paragraph tag so now uh, I have to create one other state for toggling that is visible and said visible and the state name is uh, visible actually so i'm just uh, keeping the default state as false and on clicking on this button i will call handle click so i have to define that so on handle click i will update the state to true so here set visible I will set it to true and now I will simply render this as uh, as a condition like whenever this visible uh, will be true it will be rendered okay so now I will go back to the console and I will run the application using npm start to check the functionality is working or not if the functionality works then i will move to cypress let's see so here you can see that the server has been started at localhost port 3000 and here is my application and if i write something here like test it is not showing right now now if I click on this button now it is showing 
so the application is running perfectly now i will uh, move to cypress so for that uh, i have to just uh, cancel this server uh, i will start a server later so i'll first cancel this server and open the cypress so for that i have to write npx space cypress space open and after pressing enter uh, it will take some time uh, for the first time so if you are running this command for the first time it will take some more time actually and and it will open a cypress window like this and here uh, you can get two options that is e2e testing that is end-to-end -end testing and other one is component testing so right now i will go for this e2e testing now you'll get this kind of examples you can read it out and i'm just clicking on this continue and then it will initialize with some configuration and it will ask you to choose the browser in which you are going to test your cypress uh, then i'm just choosing this uh, chrome and then it will uh, open one uh, browser just like chrome and inside this you will first uh, get to see these things that is create your first pick and uh, here you can see that some example specs are there so these are nothing but actually cypress provides some examples so that you can uh, just refer to them whenever you write your first test so if you go to the cypress folder you can see there are multiple folders inside this so this e2e folder inside this e2e folder you can get this example whatever uh, the example were there so these examples are defined inside this e2e uh, folder now you can see that uh, there are two more folders inside this cypress directory that is features and support so this feature folder is where you can store static data which is uh, used throughout your test and this can uh, actually include test data or mock responses and also you can see that support folder is there now i will create one file to test our app component so here i will uh, name the file as app.cy.js where cy is, the, is for cypress and then at the very beginning of this file i will uh, give three slashes and i will write reference and uh, here the types will be cypress and uh, yeah cypress and by adding this line in your test uh, it will make it possible for intellisense to work with cypress then uh, i have to describe my test so for that i will like describe and inside it i will like test application so for your case you can write anything it can be your component uh, name or your application name anything so you can also describe your any test cases right here so as i'm just uh, testing this app component so i'm writing app component only and inside this describe i have to write before each because i have to visit one url before running these test cases so inside before each i'm writing cy dot visit so my react application is running at port 3000 at local host so i have to write that so i'm just simply pasting it and here it is so it will first visit this url and then it will start the testing 
now i will write it and inside it i will add a simple message for the function i'm working on so here i will just test that if the text is adding or updating into state and also i will check the visibility so i'm writing adds text into state and toggle visibility and inside this block i will first get the input element by writing cy dot get and then input so here i'm just writing input because there is only one input element here and uh, i can directly select that uh, without giving any class name or id and then i will write dot type and inside this whatever i will write cypress will type it by it own so i'm just writing cypress test in react and then i have to click on a button so that i can see the updated state inside one paragraph tag so now if i click on this show button it will show me this test so for that i have to first get the button from this jsx so for that i'm writing cy.get button so i'm uh, just writing button so that i actually i can access the button directly because there is only one button and then dot click and then i'm expecting that there will be one uh, paragraph with that same text actually whatever the text um, will be there inside the state so for that first i'm getting that paragraph tag using cy.get p and then i'm writing dot should and uh, i can achieve this using have dot text and i'm expecting that the text should be the same as the previous one that is cypress test in react now if i go back to this cypress window you can see our test file is there that is app.cy.js and if i double click on this file uh, one test will automatically be started and i think there is some issue let me check this one i think some issue with uh, the react server itself okay i think uh, i haven't started the server yet uh, let me check yes right so i have to start the server so for that i'm just uh, opening this terminal and opening a new tab and here i will write npm start and the react server will be started and here you can see that the all the tests are passed and i'm running it again you can see all the tests are passed and at the right side you can see that uh, the step by step whatever i have instructed uh, cypress to do it has performed all the tasks uh, like or uh, typing this cypress test in react and then clicking on button and finally checking if the text is same or not now uh, what i will do i will just intentionally uh, edit uh, the expected value uh, inside this uh, paragraph so that the test can fail so i'm just renaming it or i'm just adding some uh, uh, numbers with it like one two three space four five six so now if i save it and go back to the cypress window and if i run the test again and here you can see that right now the tests are failing so if you just uh, check it it is uh, clearly saying that the expected value is not the same as the given so in this way you can test different scenarios inside your react application using cypress
So I think you have got an idea how to use Cypress to test your React application. I hope you have liked this video. Please click on the subscribe and like button if you like this video. Thank you.